Hi, this is Jim Malcolm with Humanize, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Views camera, and more specifically, how we get VR content from the camera itself to your computer for further editing. Now, the Views camera itself is a very simple configuration. Just open the little access panel on the side, and you have your micro SD card as well as a micro USB connection. In this case, all I'm going to do is connect the micro USB to the camera, and once and turn the camera on. Once it's connected, the computer will automatically detect that the camera's been connected and will launch the Humanize VR Studio software. At this stage, I can simply select Import to Preview and Edit. Now these are all the videos that are on the camera at this time, so I could either select all of them and then simply push Import, or I could select individual files and import them. Let's go ahead and just choose one right now. What this then brings up is a dialog box that lets you uh, choose the location where you want to save your files, as well as an option to delete the media from the camera once it's done transferring. This way it's quick and easy for you to get back out and shoot more. I'm going to go ahead and work on importing that into the, uh, the folders that I've selected. Now it's important that you use the Humanize software to transfer your files over. Because during this transfer process, we actually are putting all of the files into one convenient location so the software can go back and find all of those when you're ready to go back and render and reaccess those files later. Okay, here's the file that I imported, so we can go ahead and choose that. I'm going to choose Preview and Edit, and now I have the opportunity to go in and do additional uh, work to that file. Uh, one piece that I did want to point out, if you are transferring a lot of files over, sometimes it's faster to use something like a micro USB adapter. Um, this happens to be a USB-C device. So it's much faster to simply take the memory card out of the camera itself, put it into a little card adapter, and transfer the files over that way. So whether you direct connect or whether you use a micro USB adapter, Always use the Humanize VR Studio software to import your files to your computer for further rendering. All right, that's how easy it is to import your files into, uh, into the computer using the VR Studio software. I'm Jim Malcolm with the uh, Humanize VR Academy. Please put your questions down below and I'll do my best to answer those. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and press the subscribe button and uh, keep checking back regularly and let's see if we can help you create amazing VR content. Mm -hmm.